All right, this is completely a hypothetical for people to get up in arms, but let's just say the Detroit Lions had to choose to trade one and choose to pay one to keep them happy, which I don't think is going to be an issue because uh, both have two years left. Are they really going to sit out the season and miss games for two years? Probably not. You know, your average NFL player lives paycheck to paycheck. And James Harrison revealed that, I think, this past offseason on Undisputed. When he told him that he told Demir- Demiria Smith, the um, NFL Players Association Union, the head of their union, which is he's terrible, he said that, hey, man, let's not take the CBA deal last time out. And he says basically the players want to take it because they need to have, they need their money. And they basically live in paycheck to paycheck. So it's in the it's in the Lions' eyes. Every day they miss a man in mini camp, it's eighty eight thousand dollars out of both of their pocket if the Lions choose to to charge them that. But we back, Motor City Sports Talk. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, acquire response, video request. Appreciate the love and support. And um that's 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 the that's the case. You know what I'm saying? So I, I I just I figure we see both of them if they unhappy they're unhappy, you know what I'm saying. But the line in the NFL to be I hate to decide with management, but in the NFL you got to play the long game because if you pay a 350 pound offensive lineman and he get contempt and he get happy, you know what I'm saying. He contempt and happy and, and he get you know and he stop keeping himself in shape or he loses motivation. Then you stuck on you stuck with that guaranteed money and pretty much you stuck with that contract so all the guaranteed money is out of it. And who's the fool now? So do you really want to invest in a thirty year old, thirty plus year old uh, defensive tackle that weighs 350, 350 pounds? You want to invest a three, four, five year deal in him? Uh, probably not, especially when you only got a sample size to see of him in what seven to eight games last year. Look at Darius Slay, he's he on the right side of thirty, but he only he's twenty eight. You know, he's been dealing with multiple injuries. He's seen Xavier Howard get the highest cornerback um, contract, I think, maybe in NFL history, if I'm not wrong. He wants that type of money, but as, you know, Darius Slay, you know, uh, uh, the top cornerback in the league? No, I don't think he's top five. He's a really good cornerback. He got 12 years, and I think 12.5 million and maybe 10 or 11 million do the next two years, you know, do we want more money than that? I guess so. But the question is, can they sit out, lose money in, in, for two more years? Can they sit out for two years? No. No, they can't. But if I had to choose one, I'm paying Darius Slay. They both important. They your both they both your two most important uh defensive players. Uh Harrison, you know, is the guy who 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 saved who single handedly saved your run defense. You know, he's the guy who single-handedly plugged your run D. He did that. He did that. So, you really got to look at that. And you didn't get a replacement up front for him. You didn't think he was going to hold. The Lions didn't get, they got a Romeo Awakwe. I forgot, I keep, Armani Awakwe, excuse me. I keep forgetting that he there. But really, you can't depend on a, a rookie cornerback to come in and be a number one, number two corner. Can't depend on that. But you, I mean, you you expect Ashawn Robinson to hold down the fort? How did that go last year? You know? So you need snacks. But do you really want to risk snacks sitting out training camp? And maybe he won't. Or coming to training camp late and not being able to get in football condition? He can work out all he wants to, him and Slay, on his own. But they ain't football condition. Soft tissue muscles, a soft tissue injury is going to happen. And when injuries happen... Then you're not effective. Then you need to replace them anyway. But if I had to pay one, which they don't have to pay neither one of them, because they they can't sit out for two years. But if you had to pay one, it's Darius Slay. He's younger, and he's your only elite player in the second and, and at the cornerback position. And it took you years to find that elite player. Your franchise hasn't been. Great at evaluating cornerbacks. Bill Bentley, Aaron Berry, Alex Carter, so on and so on. The organization over the last few years, even going back to other regimes, they've been good at finding defensive linemen. You know, Dominican Sue, uh, Nick Fairley was good when he was healthy. Going back to uh, Sean Rogers and Vanden, but they've been good 
They find veteran guys and dudes up front, Cliff Averill, you know, Robert Porsche, Luther Ellis back in the day. They've been good at identifying those guys up front. So if I had to pay one, it's Darius Slay. Um, that's no knock on snacks, but in, we'll see, you know. You really, you only gave up a fifth-round pick for snacks. You got a third-rounder back from the Eagles. So you, you cut ties and trade them. You ain't get shit but a six for him. Seven. But uh, who willing to pay him? Probably nobody. You know, but hey, we'll see. Murder City Sports Talk, let me know who you keep in this hypothetical, strictly hypothetical. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request. And um, just keep sharing the videos, man. I appreciate the love, support. Want to make a donation? That link's in the description. Share, share the video. My other channel, I did a uh, movie review of Dark Phoenix. Go see it. Don't believe the movie critics. It's really, really good. One time for the one time we gone.